today we are here at Tagaytay going to Maseo Ardina. <music> here at Maseo Orlina located here in Tagaytay because it's Sunday it's Sunday again and the admission free it differs if you're a student if you're a student they require an ID or just a proof that you're a student and adults are fine for 130 pesos and inside the museum there's a lot of sculptures not just sculptures but chairs <music> a lot of chairs sculpture there but it but the visitors weren't allowed to sit on them look at that look at that horse hi horsey so beautiful here it's so cold because we're in Tagaytay <laughs> but the most important there's also paintings but the most the main part the main thing about this museum is the glass sculptures there's a lot of glass sculptures but also not just glass sculptures like that <laughs> the sculpture garden because inside the museum it's not allowed to take videos but it's allowed to take photos of the sculptures and artworks without flash of course it's like the most important rule in every look so cute so here in Jose Arlina there's no parking lot because this is like the gated inside of a sub subdivision, so don't expect that there's gonna be a parking lot. But it's easy to locate because it's just near Starbucks Tagaytay, if you know that place, and I think everyone knows it. But yeah, it's near that. And also, outside the museum, there are a lot of stuff, already stuffs and they will help you get inside there and here you can see Arlena it's so peaceful it's so beautiful but yeah it's just you're not allowed to take videos so i just take a photo so guys we ask and this museum was owned by the first glass sculpture sculpturist here in the philippines which is ramon Orlina, and he's still alive and he's 78 years old and we also ask and said by the staff usually the the things he used to make us a, a sculpture is the residuals of mirrors or like glass so it's really fascinating and it's beautiful out there so yeah <laughs>